Welcome to today's presentation entitled Creating an Orchid Record. I'm very happy that you're here with me today. My name is Nancy Shin and I'm the Wells Medical Library's Scholarly Communications Librarian. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. I have a lot in store for you today. Today I'm going to walk you through creating your ORCID record, using my ORCID record as an example. The first step of creating a complete ORCID record is locating your unique 16-digit identifier on the ORCID page for yourself. Here, it is located on the top left-hand corner of the ORCID page. The second step of creating a complete ORCID record is getting all possible versions of your name accurate. Under Names, click on the top right-hand corner where you will see a pencil. This will allow you to edit your name section. As you can see, there is a section for all your published names and a section for other names that you are also known as. For example, under Also Known As, enter other names that you are known as, like for myself, it is Nancy K. Shen. After you enter all your other names that you are known for, click Save Changes. Once you save changes under the name section, all your names will appear on your ORCID record. Now let's move along to step three. Step three is setting up your emails in your ORCID record. In the email section, click the pencil in the top right hand corner to edit and add emails to your ORCID record. As you can see, there exists two pre-existing emails for myself, Nancy Shen. Let's say, for example, we want to change the public visibility setting on my JHU email address from only me to everyone. Click on the only me drop-down menu to select from one of three options. If you want everyone to see my email address, select everyone. If you only wanted authorized, trusted parties to see my JHU email, select trusted parties. Lastly, if you only wanted me to see my JHU email content, select only me. Once you have made your selection, save your changes. Step 4 involves adding links to your social media accounts to your ORCID record. Under the Websites and Social Links section, click on the pencil in the top right hand corner to edit this section. This will open up the Website and Social Links section where you can add a link. Add your social media links like in the example where I've added my LinkedIn page. Save your changes in order for the links to appear on your ORCID record. In step five, I'll show you how to access other IDs that you may have already added to your record. Under the other ID section, click on the pencil in the top right hand corner to access your other IDs to potentially edit. Here, you'll see that I have two other identifiers including Scopus and Web of Science. Again, you can adjust the visibility setting to your liking and even delete the other ID if it's relevant to you. One way to increase the discoverability of your ORCID record is to do step six, which is adding keywords to your ORCID record. In my record, I've added keywords to describe my ORCID record, like health sciences librarian, inclusive data ethics, and scholarly communications, just to name a few. Step seven is creating a biography or narrative about your ORCID record. There is a 5,000 character limit, so keep within it. Now we're ready to document some key CV sections onto your ORCID record, like step eight, which involves filling out the employment section of your ORCID. Under the employment section, click the add button to add various organizations you've been employed with. In the employment add section, there are three parts, information about organization, employment details, and visibility settings. Fill out these parts and save changes when you are done. In step nine, I'm adding my education and qualifications information to my ORCID record. Click on the add button on the top right hand corner and select add education for example. Like the employment add section, there are three parts. Information about the organization, education details, and visibility settings. Once you have entered your information, save changes. In step 10, we are adding funding sources to your ORCID. Click on the Add button on the top right-hand corner to open up the Link Funding window. 
Double click on the Dimensions Wizard to help locate funding agencies and sources to populate your record. After double clicking the Dimensions Wizard, a window asking to authorize access will pop up. Authorize access and use the wizard to locate and add relevant funding sources to your ORCID. Step 11 is a search and link wizard. Search and link wizards allow trusted parties to update your record if you grant them permission. Only premium ORCID institutional members are granted permission to automatically edit your record. This means ORCID has vetted these institutions as trustworthy. We recommend granting permissions to Crossref and Data Site at a minimum. In the video entitled ORCID Trusted Parties Functionalities, the informationist Jacob White will explain how to grant permission to Crossref, Web Assigns, and Scopus, and how to sync your Web Assigns and ORCID records together. This brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Please reach out to us at the email addresses on this slide if you have any questions at all.